What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for local sports. It's Tyler and Mike, and this CIF Championship Swimming video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company. Out to the side of the river, it's Riverside for the CIF <sighs> Swimming Championships. Everybody jump into the water here early on a Saturday morning and a lot of exciting action in the pool, Mike. Well, we're going to start it off with the Poly Girls 200 Medley Relay, who made the final, missing a very talented freshman, Fionn Quach, but they have another talented freshman, Anya Oka, on the leadoff leg, and that's Bella Magalong diving in for leg two, just a sophomore. Right, a very young relay team for the Jackrabbits senior, Claire Leonard, the only senior, in on leg three. As you see, the leaders begin to pull away in this one. Junior Serana Quach getting ready. She will swim anchor for Polly, and the Jackrabbits end up finishing seventh in this race, so improving from where they qualified and gaining some valuable experience. Now to Lakewood in the boys' 200 medley. That's Daniel MacArthur. You're going to get to know him in this video. Oh, you definitely are. He's got a killer backstroke to start it off. He's one of the best in the country at this event and in Olympic trials qualifier. So as you would expect, he gives Lakewood the early lead. It's a close race as Tim Valdez hits the water uh, for the breaststroke. Uh, the Lancers uh, defending champions in this event, but they knew it was going to be very tough this time around. Nick Bustamante in for the fly as the Lancers begin to fall behind. You can see the, the lanes to their right. Michael Talik coming in for the anchor with some ground to make up on the free. Oh, yeah, absolutely, because as you mentioned, there was a, a lot of fast times. They're going to end up in fourth place, so not able to defend that championship with a time of 135.08, but you will hear more from them later. Now to a Wilson Bruin, Kai Pierce in the boys' 200 free. My guy, Kai. Out of lane eight. Remember, he doubled at the Moore League finals. And, and this was a pretty close race through the first few laps. The, the pack was kind of together, but eventually they would pull away from Pierce, who was able to pick up a spot from where he qualified and uh, took sixth place for the Bruins in this race. And he would swim later in a consolation final, so a nice end to a good career for Pierce. But this day was all about Daniel MacArthur repping the U uh, while repping Lakewood one last time here at the championship meet. Red's his color, Mike. That's <laughs> just what he's chosen. Uh, so he's going to go to the 200 IM uh, where he can show off the full repertoire of strokes. This is a pretty grueling race, um, but he's great at it. The defending champion uh, in this event. And you'll just see on the start as he hits the water and he's going to stay underwater gaining a lead on everybody else before he emerges. I mean, he's he the, looks like a guy. He's truly the Loch Ness MacArthur, Tyler. <laughs> and uh, pulling ahead on the backstroke, as we mentioned, not a surprise. He's uh, elite nationwide in that. And just a shade behind on the breaststroke, very close with Eric Juliusen in lane five as they move to the final 50. Juliusen qualified three seconds faster than MacArthur, so MacArthur kind of had that fuel to try and defend this championship. And uh, he's ahead on the turn. They're not going to catch him, I don't think, Tyler. No, they were pretty much neck and neck, but that final 25 yards is all MacArthur. He pulls away and touches first, setting a new Division II meet record with a 146.91. Absolutely loving that. I mean, he said afterwards he just doesn't like to lose, so he just decided not to, basically. Pulled it uh, out of somewhere within him, and he's just a special talent. But obviously, uh, from the, the talented senior to the talented sophomore, we've got plenty of other great athletes. The sophomore, Mia Tedesco, repping Long Beach Wilson in the sprint, the 50 free. She finished ninth in this race last year and wanted to improve on that. She was hoping to come all the way up to the top of the podium, was not able to do that as she falls behind the field. But this is the fastest race she's ever had. She PRs going sub-24 seconds for the first time to claim fourth with a 23.99. So legitimate accomplishment there to have a PR. Now to the Wilson Relay, more Tedesco. She'll be in the anchor on this one. Marley Abbott going to start it off for the Bruins. Good opening leg, a 24.67 is her split. Now Catalina O'Toole next in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> the third leg is going to be Eileen Pinch of Saul's Giver <laughs> as the Bruins not necessarily contending for the win over in lane one, but just looking to put up a good time. Right, and especially with uh, with the, the talented sophomore Tedesco, who's back into swim anchor, certainly something to build on for the future for the Bruins as they finish ninth, but did make it to the finals, and they have that 140-85 time as we go back to the main attraction, Daniel MacArthur. Yeah, the wolf of backstroke, Daniel MacArthur, the defending champion in this event, the defending meet record holder in this event, and once again, he just breathes longer than you. 
Right, you're sort of wondering, <laughs> did I miss something? Oh, there he is as he pops out of the water. It's hard to lead. pan when they're underwater. You just have to hope that you see where they're at. <laughs> he has a nice lead after the first lap, and after that turn, he emerges with an even better lead. And again, as you would expect, he's an Olympic trials qualifier in this event, and he left no doubt in his final individual race, drops a second off his PR, sets a new D2 meet record, and wins his fifth individual CIF championship, second most in more league history, going back to Tim Shaw, the future Olympian, who was at Wilson from 1973 to 75. Shaw won six, MacArthur won five, and could go on to put his name up there with the all-time greats. He doubled Lakewood's school total in his time there for individual uh, CIF championships. Wow. Long Beach Poly, the same group back in the medley relay, uh, starting it off again with the freshman, Anya Oka. Second in the water, Bella Magalong, and she does very well, swimming a 53.89, which is the third fastest for the second leg. Claire Leonard, now back in the pool once again, the senior, so more experience for this group. Passes off. Quatch again, the anchor. Her 53.01 was Polly's fastest time, as the Jackrabbits pull in ninth. 3.38.47 is their time. Well, and so it's the final race for Lakewood as they get in for the 400 free relay. Nick, don't be scared. Just Bustamante is going to start it off. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite arcade games, candidly. Laguna Beach and Corona Santiago already pulling ahead. Michael Talley going to hit the water uh, for the Lancers. Tim Valdez in on the third leg. Obviously, these names are very familiar. Uh, the four horsemen for Lakewood representing uh, the Red Squad. And for the last time, Daniel MacArthur into the pool as a high school swimmer. Looking to make up spots. He was in eighth coming into the pool for this final leg, and he'd improve that. Well, certainly uh, near the back of the field, and he's going to just eat up lane two. As With he a nice was, uh, Chianti, Mike. Very, very <laughs> hungry. He swims a 44-49, the second fastest split of anyone in the race, to boost Lakewood up to seventh with a 3-11-96. And a last look at MacArthur, who is just drained. He is going to, uh, well, so he and this relay group push them to sixth as a team with 118 points. MacArthur will not swim in the state meet next week as he's got a speedo meet he'll be at instead. I want to thank our sponsors, Papalucci's, for helping us bring you this video and everything else we do with the Gazettes and the Press Telegram. Congratulations to all the more league swimmers repping at CIF. Still plenty of spring sports left, and if you want all the coverage, keep it locked right here.